when you go for an IT and cyber security job interview, one question that is frequently asked is, how does technology work when you open any website or what is DNS? DNS stands for Domain Name System or Domain Name Server. So we start first with a domain. Domain name is your website name such as google.com or cyberpartshalaindia.com or any website name. Domain name is unique identity of your website or any website. And with every domain, an IP address is associated. What is IP address? I will explain that in a short while. Domain is divided into three parts. Primary domain, subdomain and top level domain. For example, we have a website www.google.com Herein, Google is primary domain, www is subdomain and .com is top level domain. Top level in short, we call it as TLD. Further, TLD has three types, generic, country and inverse. When we say generic, means .com, .net, .edu or .gov. Country, extension is .in stands for India, .uk stands for United Kingdom. Likewise, it may be .us, .jp, etc. Inverse is it has basically a different role. It, uh, it is IP to domain name mapping, meaning mapping the IP address to its name. Let us leave it over here. I may make another video on this inverse uh, domain. Now we talk about what is IP. IP stands for Internet Protocol. So what is IP address? It is a unique numeric label. For example, 172.28.34.143. Randomly, I just spoke any number. It is assigned to each device connected to the internet. We all know that internet is comprised of connected digital devices. It may be computers, network, uh, laptops or mobile phone, iPads, etc. These devices connect with each other via IP address. If IP address is not assigned to any of the device, then that device cannot be connected with the internet. And further, internet protocol has certain rules that helps digital devices to communicate with each other. We are using IPv4 and IPv6 currently. So now we talk about DNS. What is domain name system or domain name server? We human being communicates via name. I have a name, you have a name and we communicate using our name or we have a language to speak. While computer communicates via numbers, for example, I want to talk to a person. So what will I do? I will search for his or her name in my mobile phone and will dial. But as I press the name, mobile phone dials the number. It is not looking for the person's name. It is looking for the number assigned to that particular name. So mobile communicates via numbers. One mobile number looks for another mobile number and this communication difference has been resolved via DNS. So domain name system or domain name server translates domain name to IP address. It tells the IP address of any website such as say google.com or in any website. If we do not know the IP address then we cannot connect with computers or we cannot open the website. So what DNS is doing? It is resolving the website name with IP address. Main component of DNS system is DNS resolver. It acts as phone book, just like we discussed the example of a mobile phone phone book. And this DNS works on application layer. There are multiple layers in computer network system. I will not talk about the layers in this video, it's a lengthy and wide topic. For the time being, we understand that it works on application layer and DNS is not a single system. 
it is a large set of distributed systems multiple systems are there and further dns servers are broadly three types primary servers secondary servers and caching servers primary server is the authoritative server for the zone and secondary servers are backup dns servers and there are caching servers they they are used only for cached query service so what is cache we talk about that also so now let's take one example suppose we type www.google.com in the computer's browser web browser also has cache memory what is cache memory it stores some data for short duration of time that is temporarily some data is stored so when we type google.com in browser computer first searches for this particular website's ip address because computer does not know google.com it identifies it with the help of ip address and suppose this cache memory of the browser does not have ip address of this website in that case it will reach to the dns and dns resolver has its own cache memory if ip is not found there in that case this request is going to root server what is root server they are placed at different locations across the globe and there can be multiple root servers and there are dedicated organizations who are managing root servers suppose root server also uh, not having any information about it, this particular website so it reaches to tld server tld server is top level domain server which is also a root server but has information only about top level domains so here our website name is google.com so .com is the top level domain and suppose it also uh, not having the information then what it will do it will send the request to authoritative name server authoritative name servers has all the information about dns and this authoritative uh, server sends back the ip address of this particular website in our case it is google.com to the dns resolver and dns resolver stores it in the cache memory and send it back to the web browser now web browser got the ip address of google.com and this is the information it was looking for now it will send the request to particular web server that points to that ip and now browser displays the web page so to open one web page this much work takes place and you can imagine how quickly it happens the moment we type website opens up because we are living in this uh, era of hacking or computer secu security or cyber security so hackers do target dns servers and these are most targeted devices to hack any website dns are targeted first hope uh, now we all understand the technology behind opening one simple web page of any website this is all for today